Hey everybody, check out this racking system I installed for a 10 kW solar panel system on my house. So me and my guys, we built this racking system out of uh, angle iron and unistrut. Using 3 16 angle iron, we welded it to the top of the container. Using that as a base support for the riser to connect to the top slope. And on there, we put a stiffener on each one. And because these are 10 foot sticks, I had to make some adjustments using some welded on brackets. We're using half inch bolts two inches from the end of the unistrut. And because my shipping container is only 30 feet long, well, because I cut 10 feet off, because this is the solar shed, we've added on these little outriggers on either side to hold four more panels. So that's a total of eight hanging off. From end to end, it'll be 43 feet long. So yeah, as you can see, the rails, they don't matter as much, but cut straight this one in. All the way down to the end. Probably only a quarter inch off at the most. So as you see, we got those ends done. They're hanging off exactly where we need them. And on this side, we're going to leave these unit struts uh, full length so that they can be cut off exactly where we need them as we lay the panels from, from starting from that end all the way down to the last one. I mean, I got them laid out where the anchors go and where each panel on either side goes, but that may be off an inch or two by the time we get to the end. So I'd rather get all these 26 panels all the way to here before we go the full length and then I can know exactly where to cut it off. I think I misspoke there a second ago. I mean 26 panels. And they are uh, LG Q cells, 395 watt. And there's going to be two stacked in portrait, 13 long. And the unit strut I'm using is the deep with no slots. And the strut clamp for the solar panels I'm using I got from Home Depot. You just drop them in, turn them, and tighten them down. The spacing on the clamp is three quarters from either panel. And I like how it has a spring so it'll stay tight as you tighten them up. And in case y'all were wondering how we drill all those holes in the unistrut and the angle iron, we got this Vivor uh, mag drill. And this is not sponsored. I bought this thing with my own money and I love it. So you just sit it up there where you want. You got it on. You got the speed set. Turn it on. Slow start. Start drilling. And what we found, as long as you got two of them side by side, it, the mag holds down good. Just don't put bear down too hard and it won't pick it up off. Anyway, there it is from up down here. And from back here, we got to put those three pieces on. So this is going to be the solar shed running to my electrical service. So inside this shipping container, once I move all my junk out of the way, so I'll be mounting a Tesla Model 3 LFP pack on the wall. And on this side, I'll be installing two Solus 11.4 kilowatt inverters. Till next one, thanks for watching.